Hello and welcome back to PE Academy. So this is the drawing two under isometric drawing. So if you missed the previous drawings and the introduction or uh, video I did on isometric drawing, the links are in the description of this particular video. So this is what we are going to be replicating. So this is um, a rectangular box. This side from here to here is six centimeter, while from here to here is four, and then the height is one point five centimeter. So now to start with, I already have my T square on my board. So I'm going to be drawing a straight line. So I haven't drawn the straight line, I can adjust my T-square down a bit. So like I do say, if you are working with it, uh, isometric drawing, especially if you are a beginner, once you start your drawing, you start with a faint line. So I already have my faint line and I'm going to draw the, uh, the vertical line. And make sure your set square is resting properly on the T-square. Make sure it's not sliding under the T-square. So you draw the vertical line. So this is the point of intersection here. So we bring back our set square. We draw the 30 degrees. So just pay attention to it. The lines are not looking very bold because that's what I like I said, we are going to be starting it with a faint line. So once we are done with all this faint line, then we are going to bring out the real rectangular, rectangular box. So now let's take the, the measurement. If you look at it, so what we are having here, this this length from here to here is 1.5 centimeter. That's 15 mm. So depending on the unit that you are familiar with. So this this is 1.5. So this is 1.5. And then for this side, which is six uh, uh, centimeter, that's 60 mm. So I'll just measure it 60. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Why for this side is four. Four centimeter is same as 40 mm, depending on the unit you are familiar with. So those are just the three um, measurements that we are going to take. So I can just bring back my T square. So once the T square is placed there, I bring in the set square. Make sure it's pro resting properly on your T square. So from this point where I've measured the 1.5, you make sure you adjust your set square to that till you get to that point, and from there. You're going to draw a line like this. So you turn it the other way. So if you are finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. So click on that thumbs up button. So now we're having something like this. Now where we've just marked the four centimeter point on this, this is it, the four centimeter. You bring in your set square, still, re still resting on your T square. Like I said, these are just the major tools you are going to need your T square and your set square. Then any other thing like your pencil and your drawing sheet, your drawing board. So we, had, we have this four centimeter mark. You draw a line to touch the lines that is above it. So this is the line. We are going to repeat the same thing here. So this is where the six centimeter mark is. So you draw a, a vertical line to come and touch this one that we have at the top. I hope that makes sense. So the reason is that we, instead of us measuring from here to here, measuring another six centimeter on this line that is above it, this alone is enough to give us the six centimeter line. And then you are going to be having something like this. So now where this vertical line is touching the one at the top, you note that point here you also note that point so you bring in your set square again so basically we are just going to be working with more with our set square resting on our ruler that is on our t square rather so don't don't confuse yourself this is a set square why what i'm having here is a t square so you place it your set square on your t square you adjust it till 
you get to this point and then you draw a line like this and then you turn it the other way so on this point so make sure your set square is not sliding underneath the T square so you draw it like this so now this is the point of intersection here So with this now we already have we've been able to replicate this so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to be using now we are going to draw out the main rectangular cube using a bold line remember i started with faint line so just to make sure that we avoid any kind of error that we might come across so in doing that so let me just quickly bring out the main rectangular box so this is you can see i'm now using a very a thick line that is a construction line So if you are finding value in this video and you are yet to subscribe, please click on that subscribe button at the lower right of your screen. It's absolutely free to subscribe. It won't cost uh, anything. So you can see with this now we already have, we've been able to replicate this drawing. drawing. Now let me also show you something. If you remember at the beginning, we only measure this part, which is from here to here to be 6 cm. We measure here to be four centimeter but look at this by the time you measure the top here you see that it's giving us four centimeter again and how did we get it by just and that's the beauty of isometric uh, projection so by just making sure that your t square and your set square they are properly placed and then from this uh, point you draw a line like this also you know you draw the line you know their point of intersection will be same as the line that is opposite it i hope that is clear so now we've been able to replicate it. Now let's just show our, our, our dimension. So let's in this now don't forget this place is at 30 degrees. 30 degrees. So let's show the so let's just make sure you show your dimension once you are done with the drawing itself. So you indicate the measurements that you use. So from here to here is um, 1.5 centimeter. So from here to here is um, six centimeter. So I, I, there's also one thing I want you to pay attention to. As you are watching this video, I, is uh, you know, watching it alone will not really help you to be sincere, and I want to be sincere uh, with you. So make sure you also take out time to practice this thing. Pick your drawing tools, your ruler, your pencil, your set square, everything, and practice this thing yourself. So that you don't just watch the next, the previous video, this video, the next video without you putting your pencil to paper. It's very important. So this is it for the drawing tool. So this is drawing two. This is drawing two. So for drawing three, it will be coming up immediately uh, after this video. I mean, so so this is drawing two. This is drawing two. So drawing three will be coming up immediately after this video. So you don't need to skip. You just watch the video to the end. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in drawing three.